So I got bored of playing Geometry Dash, and like always, I start doing something stupid in the editor. Well, that's exactly what we're doing today. Yeah, so today we're going to take the first official Geometry Dash level, specifically the coins, and just completely change the way you get them. Now, obviously, this isn't an original idea, but you know me. I like putting my own twist on things. So instead of just changing the coin, we're going to alter parts of the level slightly that you have to follow if you want the coin. Sounds confusing? Me too. That doesn't make any sense. Let me show you what I mean. This is the last coin in Stereo Madness. Notorious for being completely different and harder than the main route, it has a completely different route you have to take to get the coin. Perfect example. Now I could just leave this one as it is, but I won't because I'm not lazy. I actually am, but let's not talk about that right now. But let's come back to that one in a bit. For now, we have the first coin. It seems pretty simple, this one, you know, you just... You, why am I a ship? What the f... What? Guys, ship madness? Yo, new Stereo Madness update just dropped. So, it's pretty simple, you have two ways, you can either do it like that, or you can do it like this. Get out of here. We want an actual coin. Editing me, just copy-paste, like, a thing over this, you know, the gold coin, yeah, 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 yeah. So what if, instead of having the gameplay happen alter just here, just these two jumps, what if we make it happen in the cube part? Like, for example, what if, instead of exiting that portal, there was a way you could get through here? So what if, instead of those, we just completely remove it, and we have these? Instead, what if we put a jump pad like there, which you can't hit if you go the normal way because you'll just fall down, right? Oh, you know what? You know what? This one, this one isn't gonna work. This, it's, it's too hard to put something there. So maybe we have the exit a bit further out here, or maybe above. Maybe we could do it above, and then it can drop down. I've just realised how hard it is to make a good coin route when you have literally nothing available to you. Because I'm not, I'm not trying to use jump pads or orbs yet, they're for the, the later levels when they're introduced. This is default 1.0 blocks, I think this is the best we can do for this one. You just fly up through this gap and then you do some stereo madness jumps, hit that late and then you can just land there and keep jumping and then continue on with the level. Not really what I was thinking but hopefully we can redeem ourselves. Okay, but first, what the hell is going on with these blocks? Why are some of them, like, underneath the spikes? Why are some of them above? Why? This one, it's, you just, you just jump up, you grab the coin, it's, it's, it's fairly simple. Um, so how do we change this? We could do like a, a Stereo Madness, <coughs> Stereo Madness type thing, this is Stereo Madness, you fucking idiot. Yeah, there was nothing going on with this one either. The best I've come up with is this little thing that basically we removed in the first coin. I've just added it back. But I, I genuinely can't think of anything else to do in Stereo Madness. It's so hard trying to work without pads and orbs and just these blocks alone to try and make new gameplay. It will definitely get easier as we progress. But that brings us on to the last ship part in Stereo Madness. What if I just take this route and instead of changing it, because it's already been nicely built for us, and then just increase the difficulty even more? What's it got? It's got some it's got some spikes here. Okay, we'll add more spikes along the top. I'm sure that won't cause any problems for anyone. Oh, what's that? You want to get through this gap? Wrong. More spikes. Oh no, there's a pillar blocking your way. Just when you think you've made it all the way to the end and there's absolutely nothing that can hit you, boom, more straight flight. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Finally, dude, that took so long. Oh my god. 
Okay, well, I've just officially uh, super buffed Stereo Madness. Oh, wait, uh, that's that's a different video. Moving on. Ah, oh, yes, back on track. The true easiest level in the game. It, it's, a, it's a pretty simple level. And the coin, you just hit this blue pad here, and then you continue on your way. I believe that these blue pads here, also the ones in Polar Geist and that, I don't think they existed in this update. When the coins were officially added, they were a thing. So, we're not going to use them. I never understood why the design of the slabs changed. Just make it black, it looks so much better. And now, you can jump over this, hit that pad, and appear back on the roof. It's really all I can think of, because this is just like Stereo Madness, but with extra steps, really. They get better from here, I promise. All oh, right, second coin in back in back on track is incredibly easy. You just literally fly through this fake block gap. We need to change that. We need to completely redesign this. By the way, I will be reshuffling coins if I feel like they could be put better. I'm not just going to limit myself to where the coin's positioned and within the vicinity. I will move it around if I feel like I can do something better. So this one took me a hot minute to think about, but seeing as the others so far had been eh, kind of shit, I had to go above and beyond. I had to think outside the square. I had to, and I ripped off Stereo Madness again, didn't I? Okay, so for this for this part, the best I can come up with is if you fly through this gap, you get put into a ship portal, similar to what the last coin in Stereo Madness does, except instead of just giving you a whole new screen, instead of that, it just reveals like an extra two blocks of space, which then allows this little passage up here to open up. There we are, the heavenly coin taking its rightful place upon a throne of default blocks. I don't know what I'm talking about, let's move on. The third coin, I think, is quite simple. It's really just a time machine-esque jump after this little... I... what? what is it? I don't know, gap? That's the best word I can think of. And you just get onto this pad and it launches you. But I think I want to add just a little bit more to it. So instead of putting the coin there, obviously we are going for completely different routes. Okay, so what I've done here is obviously you jump, you do this, and then that's that's basically it. Get your goofy obvious ass out of here. And yeah, that's uh that's back on track done. I guess we'll move on to a uh, polar ghost. Okay, polar ghost. Now we're talking, we have orbs and pads to work with. So what I've done is I've just extended this ship flying part up a bit, except maybe I've made it slightly difficult for a coin route. What I've got currently doesn't really work, it's, it's, it's not great, so we need to think of something else. There we go. I say that's alright. It's not perfect, but uh, I was really struggling for something, and I think it's alright. Also, I've made it easier because, obviously, you've already found the coin route. I don't need to make it ridiculously hard. Um, and also, the coin is now at the end, because that way you just don't miss it. When you're flying through this section, it's just right at the end, and you can pick it up without missing it by accident. So the second coin in Polar Geist is pretty self-explanatory as well. You just fall down there and then jump up on the pad. Pretty simple, but I feel like we can do better. Shocking plot twist, everybody. I could not do better. I think I've just... 
I've decided to scrap this option and instead I'm just gonna have a fake jump up here. So let's let's get rid of all this and then something similar to this, I guess. We move that up a bit more so it doesn't look fake. Yeah, I say that's not too that's not too bad of a coin. I mean, at this point, I literally have, like, no comedy in me. Um, these levels are just pretty boring. That's all I have to say about them. Let's get rid of this third coin, because no one likes the Polar Ghost third coin. So what could we do with this last section? Is there anything interesting over here we could do? Ooh. What about something with this? And so I got to work, carefully crafting a new coin route for the last time in this video, and I'm glad I was able to end it on a good note. Hey, I really like this one. It's it's really simple, but I like the design of it. It just just plays around with this cool design they've got going on here. So what if we um if we just position the coin like there? And then what you have to do is just play the level play the level normally, hit this orb and then jump out of that gap there. And boom, that's all it is. Just a simple, little different route. And that's really about it for this video. I just wanted to say that this video took so long to even record because it's not my normal style of content. I'm very used to having other people in my videos as it helps the video flow better in my opinion. But one of my goals this year is to also get better at solo commentaries, so bear with me. But I do want to continue with this, so if you do too, let me know and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.